My name is Jordan. I'm here at the Old Hundred Mine in Silverton, Colorado, almost two miles above sea level, and this is the chemistry question. So much attention is given to carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas, but it's not the only one. Let's take a look at another one causing quite a bit of warming, methane. Methane is a simple organic molecule, a single carbon bond into four hydrogen atoms. As a greenhouse gas, it is roughly 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide. Only about a third of methane released is natural. This comes from wetlands, oceans, freshwater, and termites. Termites alone account for 7% of the methane released each year. And this is yet another reason to hate termites. Now onto the methane that's released from human activity. The two biggest contributors are rice growing and enteric fermentation. Enteric fermentation refers to bacteria inside of livestock breaking down organic molecules for energy, releasing methane in the process. Dairy cows are the worst defenders of this. The other large contributors are mining, drilling, biomass burning, and landfills. Methane constitutes 1.8 parts per million of the atmosphere. However, this provides the same amount of warming as around 50 parts per million of carbon dioxide, which is pretty significant. Now, I'm not going to be the radical environmentalist that says we should all quit producing energy and all become vegetarians, but the Earth is a resource that we need to use carefully. Here are a few ways we can maintain our standards of living with less ecological impact. 1. Dairy cows. They will produce less methane if fed grass instead of grain. 2. Certain varieties of rice can be grown under drier conditions than those typically used without loss of yield. This will cut down on methane emission. Proper fertilization and irrigation in rice fields will also cut down on methane. Number three, focusing more on renewable energy will reduce our dependence on coal, oil, natural and gas. Number four, recycle when you can to reduce decomposition in landfills. And number five, let's figure out a way to harvest methane. There's so much we can do with it.